Hello and welcome everyone. In this video, I'm going to show you that I'm going to participate in a game jam, Pico Cat Jam, and I'll be making a few maps inside A Sprite. And I will be telling you why you should also participate in this jam. I'm making these things. I learned a new trick about alpha values. I'll be telling you how to use that. And we'll be making this project together and I'll be setting up a place for a DJ because the theme of the jam is music. So it will look like this. I think we'll be able to model this together. So let's get started. Once we are inside PicoCAD, let's start with a cube. Now in starting, let's save this. I'll save the file because I don't want to lose my progress. And in starting, I want to make the console for the DJ. So this console is like, I think it's a rectangular box. It will look like a piano. So let's extrude the front part and make a display for the DJ because I've seen some of the DJ nowadays have a display ahead of their consoles. And I think it looks like this. After we have this, let's add another plane that will act like the stage for the DJ. So our idea is if we have a stage in the bottom part, we can add other elements to the stage just like this. The console will be sitting in the center. Let me adjust this quickly. Console will be in the center and then we'll add other elements like a display in the background. And I have some ideas for adding speakers and other things. So let's put it in the center. So we are getting a reference how it will look. Now after this, I think it should be a little bit more wider. It looks good. Let's move to the next part. I think this will be our speaker. So I'm increasing its height a little bit and making it a little more wider. I think it will look good and it should be comparable to the size of the console that we made for the DJ. So let's move it from another view to the corner side and we'll have a display behind this speaker and adding one more plane and rotating it because this will be a display that is usually behind you may have seen DJs. There are like lights and big flashy displays behind those DJs. So I'm increasing the size. So it looks good. I think it should be a little bit more, but I'll increase the size later on also. So let's have a bit of a test that how our scene will look and everything should be in proper perspective. So once I'll be making these things inside a sprite, the arts and everything, I should be having a proper idea how it will look. So let's have a look. Okay, it looks fantastic. I'm not duplicating this uh, speaker currently. I'll tell you why later on. So back to a sprite for making our maps. You know the drill, make a new file, 128 by 128, the canvas size and press OK once you have it. And then go to the palette section and you know the Pico 8 palette. Go to the presets and type Pico. You'll find it and press the load button. After that, we need to make our maps. Let's get started. Now, what do we want to do first? I think I'll start with the display part that is at the background. So making a black square, it will be a dark display and it will have something like lasers going on. So my idea is try to follow this trick. It's very useful. Use the mirror tool for X and Y axis both and draw a line. So it looks like a laser show or something is going on. You can change the colors and it already looks good. And I'll be adding a shape also in the center to make it a little bit more different and unique. So it adds a different effect. It definitely looks good. I'll be making this a little bit wider later on, but for now I think it's very good and it will fit the scene perfectly. After this, let's get started with the speaker also. So making another white uh, black rectangle and white outline in it. Inside this, I want to make it look like a speaker. <laughs> I do not know which color is perfect, but I think this will do the trick for now. And let's add some reflection and some center in this. I'll be making different sides of the speaker as well. So let's give it a boundary also. I think this is fine. So for the side view, let's add some different objects. I think the color should be white only. And this is the side view of the speaker. Similarly, I'll be making the back side as well. I don't have to place it in the side. I think it's fine here. I don't want to keep my maps too tight because usually it happens. I'm not able to match them properly. And this will be the back side of the speaker, I think. So it looks good. Let's move to the next thing. I think I'll be making the front part of DJ's console. And again, it will have a display. So let's add a pattern by using the mirror tools once more. Again, I'm adjusting the X and Y axis and making a pattern. So it's like a mini display on the front part and I'm adding two patterns. I'll copy this pattern and add it on the right side. So it looks consistent and let's add a few lines. I think I'm done with this panel. Let's move to the next part. This will be the top part of DJ's console. It took me a little while to make this because I was struggling with my 
colors and everything so i decided different patterns and later on came up after a couple of minutes came up with a different pattern for temporarily i made this and i also was thinking about different ideas so later on i made it black colored and other things after that my work was to make the floor and currently it looks a little bit rectangular because in my mind at this point uh, i thought it would be good that to make it rectangular and i was also looking at google images like pixel art dj stage so it's good to have a look at reference images to while you are making something some any art or any 3d model it could give you a couple of different ideas and my idea was this because i learned about alpha values inside picocad so uh, what is this alpha value business so you can make some objects transparent for example if i'm making this design of music pattern so if i'm using a particular color and setting that as the alpha value inside picocad i'll be telling you in a while so what will happen is that that part will become transparent and only that black color will pop up so it's a fantastic way to make your models and you don't have to go into making complex meshes and very detailed meshes to make any shape or structure so let's get started with that part export the png and let's move to picocad so here is our png let's move to the texture part and add the png here and you can see everything is here almost and let's add the textures one by one so go to the rendered mode this is the material preview of the objects that i made so i have a reference add shadows and everything after that set the alpha to the color that we decided for the uh, color that should not be visible out of the 16 colors so for the display let's start one by one pull these corners to the side after we are done with this we'll move to the ground or to the stage and let's select the stage face and set it over the stage part in the texture i think it looks good let's adjust it a little bit more and have a look okay perfect it's looking like a disco stage but it's good i made it rectangular so it fits the rectangular objects in the scene that's all after that let's move to the console of the dj i'm setting this up but there is a small problem you'll see if i go here it looks like it's rotated so i have to adjust this if this happens with you so one by one pull these corners to their anti clockwise rotation or the clockwise rotation it's totally up to you and it will fit perfectly eventually i think this looks good similarly i'll be making the display this console display that is for the dj i made this art in the similar way so here it is let's pull the corners once more did you notice something strange this one is also rotated clockwise so we need to put these vertices anti clockwise so the display is visible still i think it's flipped but i think this will do the trick because we don't need much details in this part after this i think it's better to move to our speakers which already have these things and we can clone it now so you remember in the first part of the video i told you that i am not cloning this beforehand because after texturing if we clone it it retains its textures so i think our scene is coming along well so we can zoom in a bit it looks good but we can add a little bit more depth to the scene by adding these speakers to the front side as well so let's clone them and put them in the front side and the front speaker will be a little bit smaller i think and that way the uh, front part of the scene is much more visible and is focused if i make them uh, of similar size the front view will not be able to grasp them now currently selecting all of these things and i'm moving it like a spaceship to the other location because i want to tell you about that alpha value and that music symbol that we made so let's add a plane rotate it make it vertical and let's go to texture and this is very interesting uh, have a look at this let's move it to the music symbol that we made can you see it's already transparent because our alpha value is set to the same color so in one sense we are avoiding this color inside picocad the software knows that you have to avoid this color and show the other part of the colors so this looks like some music symbols so i wanted to add a little bit more, more volume to the scene so i'm adding few more symbols changing this art to the other one and i think four or five will look good or we can add six and we can put our model together after selecting just like ufo or a spaceship it's coming back to the scene let's drag it sideways and let's have a look at our scene now i think it will look much more better a brighter background will make sure that these symbols pop up after this i think i should prepare for the submission of the jam so go to the jam page here is the jam page let's submit the project so this is my submission first time i'm naming it dj by the night and just adding some description 
and one by one you can add the screenshots because this is not a game you don't need to add any file or any other executable file so let's go back to picocad and make our gif renders so for example i made this one from another scene i'm zooming in a bit so it looks a little bit more detailed i think this one is good similarly after this i'll upload them one by one here all of them are uploaded to the site and i'll tell you how to submit this project to the jam if you are first time submitting it first save your project after that once you have saved it you need to press public and then save it again so this will become a published project that you can put in your jam profiles or in your own profile after that i'm just adding a theme going back to jam and selecting the dj by the night and adding some this limitation yes i made it under i think in around 1 hour or 1 hour 15 minutes so let's press submission submitted so this is the first submission i'm very proud of it so this is how it looks so if you are watching in first 48 hours i think still you can participate and submit your project so quickly make something and participate even if you are watching it later on you can participate as the jam takes place every week i hope you enjoyed this video stay around for more and i'll be coming up with more interesting stuff i have to answer a few questions from the last video so take care have a great day ahead bye bye